Hello and welcome to this little tutorial about Star Connect, my new add-on. I made this for a case like you can see here. We have a face with an adjacent bevel. And now I want to export this model to a game engine or to other software. And what you want to do is triangulate the model uh, before in Blender. And the triangulate modifier used for this does produce in this cases some little triangles and very uneven spaced and uneven sized triangles um, and then when you want to change this to a more even spaced triangulation then you could do it manually by for example in this case joining these two vertices and subdivide them and now join each word by each with the middle one and this will take forever so don't do this and I undo everything instead what you want to do is using star connect I made two versions star connect basic and star connect pro uh, the basic version is free a uh, link in the description and to install them you go to preferences and install and then choose the .zip file you get with the purchase and simply double click and now you can enable the add-on uh, like any other add-on and the basic version you have some options also for the shortcut and if you want to show the menu uh, like here so you can do the same as you have done before join them then subdivide but now you don't have to join each by each instead you can choose all the vertices you want to join and then at last the destination and then press Control, alt and s and you're done and if you don't like the hotkey you can change it and if you don't want to use a hotkey you can also choose star connect in the context menu and it does the same so the pro version is installed uh, the same as the basic version and like any other add-on and simply enable it and what you can do with the pro version is entering an all new mode only for triangulation so how do we enter the star connect mode can go to the mode pie and here you can see we have a new mode the star connect or you can use the shortcut control shift and middle mouse here you have the settings for the star connect mode the star connect mode automatically detect curves and circles the max angle is the angle of the segment edge like here this will be detected as a curve because the angle of this edge is below 20 degrees on the other hand this edge have an angle of 90 degrees which will be not detected as a curve so if you have a low poly mesh then I would recommend you to increase this value. The max length difference is the percentage deviation of the length of these edges between the segments of a bevel. So if you have some uneven bevels in your mesh, um, then higher the value and you will be fine. The last option is very straightforward. The minimum number of vertices um, a curve must have to be detected. In this case all curves from the bevels have 11 vertices so it's above 6 so it will be detected. By pressing OK we will enter the star connect mode. And as you can see the most curves were detected perfectly. Now they are in a disabled state um, which means that when we apply the star connect mode now nothing will happen 
with a left click we enable the triangulation of a curve. Now we have full control over the triangulation with these tools. However, we only need the move tool in this case. So by pressing G, we can start moving the triangulation around and this just behaves like the Blender move tool. By pressing left click, you can commit. However, I don't like this, so you can easily go back with Ctrl and Z and you undo your step. And if you regret it, you easily can press Ctrl, Shift and Z and you redo the step. And if you want to disable the curve again, you can press X to delete it just like in Blender. In this situation, I want that these both curves will look the same at the end. So what you can do is select one and then shift and select the other to have both selected. So again, the selection system is just like Blender ones. So now you are able to edit them both at the same time. So by pressing G, we can move them at the exactly same positions. There's one special thing about the move tool in the star connect mode. By holding alt, you can move along the normal. You can see, see the direction um, by the white lines. And if you want to move very precisely, you can hold shift and then align it perfectly, just like this. Another feature when moving around is snapping. You can enable snapping by holding control and now you can snap to the vertices of the face. You can also snap to the vertex of other star connections um, if there are any on the same face. So when you're happy with your result, you can press space to apply the star connect mode. Now you will be warned uh, because now all connections will be constructed. That means you commit to what you have done. So by pressing OK, all what you saw visually is now converted into real geometry. You can see everything is connected. And when we look at this with the triangulation modifier and how it looks in the game engine or other software later on, we can see a very fancy even triangulation. So now moving on to the next object. Here we have a face with two bevels. So what can we do here? So first we go in star connect mode again. And as you can see, everything is detected fine. So we can start editing it. What you want to do in this situation is to bridge connect these both curves. And for this, there is a tool available. Therefore, you have select both curves again with shift. And now you have to press the B key. And as you can see, it connected the curves perfectly. You can do the same on the other side. And this looks fine to me. Then we can apply it. And perfect. So in our next case, who would have thought we have three bevels? So entering the star click mode, what can we do here? We can, we could first select all, but here is a little trick. With holding Alt and click on the face, you can select all at once. So that's a little time saver here. Again, we can edit both sides simultaneously. And what we can do here is we could scale them in the middle. So by pressing S, we activate the scale tool. 
So just like you see here, we can scale this very smoothly. And it scales now in the median of all three curves. But what you can do also is by holding Alt, scaling in the direction of the normals or the curves. So and that looks very good to me. Like this. Again, you can activate the precision mode with holding shift. That looks fine. And if you like it, again, apply it. And here we go. Who's next? For this, right. So select all with Alt click and the other side too. And here's the best practice to simply scale them all into the middle and shift for the precision. And here we go. So here we have a capsule shape built into this cube. And as you can see, all curves were detected correctly. And now you could select them as we done it before. But there's a third option, box select. To do this, simply like an old form blender, click and drag over the curves you want. And you have them selected. Now when we scale them, you can see we have a problem here. These triangles are overlapping and the angles are very steep. So to counter this, we want to split them both into two separate parts. To do this, simply use the tool split. To perform this, you can press the C key. And as you can see, they are all splitted perfectly. And now we can scale along the normal and achieve a very nice triangulation. For the inside, you can simply select them and can also scale them into the middle like this. And this looks very good. However, if you want to remove some vertices or add some vertices from a curve, you can hold control and now click on the vertices. And as you can see, they are disappear from the curve, just like this. So you have complete control over what you triangulate manually. And I think this looks good, so I will commit it. And finally, we have cylinders. Simply go into the star connect mode as usually. And as you can see, the both circles were detected perfectly. And you can simply click on them to enable them. Like the curves, there's nothing new here. So you can press in the middle and simply apply it and you're done. If you don't like any shortcut or any setting, simply go to Edit Preferences, search for the Star Connect Pro and here you have the key binds and here the key map and here are every shortcuts and you have complete control. Uh, you can change any of them. And the same is for the uh, modifier keys. And also where you want to show the star connect mode. And also if you want to show the hotkeys or not. And the size of the hotkeys. Also you have the star mode settings here. And if you want to show them uh, on the start. Now visuals, you have all colors 
and the sizes of all visuals. So if you want to change them, then feel free to do this. That's StarConnect Basic and StarConnect Pro. They are available now on the Blender Market and on Gunmode. The links for both are in the description. And if you want to not only save time, but also some money, there is a 20% discount code in my Discord server right now. Also, I upload their development updates where you have the opportunity to flow your thoughts in. Looking forward to seeing you and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.